Good afternoon fellow crafters. Today I'm doing an update for the Scorched Earth Challenge that I've been doing. I think we're starting week four so we're just ending week three. So I'll tell you what I accomplished this last week. I want to say it doesn't feel like much but it really was quite a bit considering that I'm also having to work outside a lot more now that spring is coming and weather is nicer so I've been doing a lot more outside but I did get some things accomplished. So first we'll talk about the hearts afghan that I've been working on. Um, <laughs> so last week I had done all but this one square down here. So obviously I added that last square there. And then I <laughs> barely started <laughs> adding the next square that's going to go down here. So um got distracted. I think I was doing this during our worship one night and worship was over and I uh that's about as far as I'd gotten. <laughs> so that is all I got done on that one this week. Um I got distracted a little bit too because my yarn shipment came in and I was waiting on some yarn that I could work on my other projects that I I, one of the projects that I had started earlier and that was my heart pillow, not heart, house, house pillow. I had run out of the black yarn and then I didn't have the white yarn of the um, Karen Simply Soft Party. That's what I've been using. So I got the white yarn in the shipment that came in on Tuesday. I do not have the black yarn yet because some of the places I've been looking still have it in back order. Some of them have it back in stock, but it's kind of, you know, it's not on sale, plus you have to pay shipping on top of it. And that was like the only yarn I would have been buying, and so it just made it a, so I was spending a lot more than I wanted to. But I thought I'd check my local stores to see if they had any in stock because I hadn't even checked them before. So I checked Joann's. They had the gray, which I didn't buy this. I had this before. <laughs> they had the gray and they had, I think, a white, which I had already ordered. So I didn't need that. The, and that was it. I think just those two skeins even of, of the party. So Joann's didn't have it. I went to Walmart. They didn't have Simply Soft hardly at all, except maybe like four or five colors in, in the baby shades. So they didn't have the party at all. And where else did I check? I didn't even check Hobby Lobby. I don't know that they carry this brand, do they? Don't know. Anyway, I thought I'd check the local stores to see if they had it, and um, they didn't. So I missed out on ordering what I had found on Amazon with my big order that I did and so I waited a couple days because I did find some on Amazon. They have a three pack for like $17.10. I didn't want three skeins because I'm trying to get rid of the yarn, right? <laughs> but the single skein, first they didn't have it and then I found it put it in my cart and then the price raised up like three dollars. <laughs> I'm like, eh, I don't want to pay that much for it. So just recently, just today, actually this morning I checked on it again and it had gone back down about a dollar and um, so about the price, you know, that skein plus shipping is about what it would be. It was like eight dollars and ten cents or something like that. Still more than I want to pay for a skein of this but since I can't find it anywhere else and I want to get this project done, I went ahead and bought it. So we'll be done with this pillow as soon as I get that yarn. I also bought the some pillow inserts to put in them instead of filling them with polyfill. Um, I got a little 12 inch pillow from Joann's and then for the roof part up here, I got a littler square pillow, but it has a zipper in it. So you can take this some of the stuffing out so in that way I can make it into a triangle to fit up where the roof is so um, 
that'll be my filler for the or the pillow forms for my house okay so with the white once I got it I was actually able to make the window now I just need to put the black um, you know chains across the middle to make the window panes and then I need to wait until I get the black for that obviously and then I just need to applique it to the front along with the door which I already have made okay so that's the update on the house pillow I along with this white sparkly yarn that I got I got the rest of the yarn that I needed for this afghan I'm making this one here only I'm changing the colors up a bit I am doing the off-white and the taupe and that's the yarn that I was waiting on so I have the yep off-white and taupe and then I'm adding those to the colors that I already have so instead of the robin's egg blue and the heather gray that you see there I'm replacing the robin's egg blue with country blue and I'm replacing the gray heather with gold so kind of a nice color combo I thought all right so I got the yarns for that I got yarns for another project that I'm working on this is not part of the scorched earth challenge though but it was all in the same box together and the next thing the one that I've really been working on this week um, was once I got my off-white yarn I was able to make the start working on the hmm the advent calendar that I'm doing so when I first saw this I actually thought that the tree was crocheted into the background and so I was waiting to start with everything until I got the off-white so that I could do the background but as I'm making this I'm reading and I'm like oh <laughs> silly me the tree is its own little thing its own little piece that you applique onto the background so I got the tree done I just finished it today so got the tree done and then I don't have the background done yet but I got one skein's worth of rows done this needs to be 37 inches tall so I think let's see here eight it's probably about 14 inches out of one skein so I have two more skeins uh, one will take an it'll take another full one and then a portion of the second one so <clears throat> that's under progress and there was something else I was gonna say about it oh yes so for their sorry their trim up here the trim around the edge and then these are tabs that you put a pole through to hang it with the, they did those in Robin's egg blue and I don't really care for that for me I want a little more Christmassy so I'm actually gonna do these with the same sage green that the tree is in and I think it a little look a little more cohesive and not so disjointed as it does to me anyway here's a bigger picture to me it doesn't look as Christmassy and it looks a little disjointed to have the the bright blue on the outside there so we're gonna change that to green that's about it that's my update for the scorched earth challenge thanks for joining me and I hope you uh, watch next week. I'll do another update and see what I get done this week. I am going to be busy outside this week because we just got a ton of plants for our food forest that we're starting to plant. So if you want to watch all of that, I'll be planting blueberries and an apple tree and pear trees, nectarines, cherries, all kinds of stuff this week. Be planting them outside in our pasture area. It's been a cow pasture and a hay field for I don't know how long. The pe previous owners lived here for 12 years and it was probably a cow pasture for about that long. Um, so we're converting that into a food forest and a lavender field. So you can join us. It's on my other channel, Wild Woodland Lavender Farm. I'll have a link below in the description. 
So you can join us on that channel to watch all of that kind of stuff. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you have a lot of fun crafting this week and I'll see you next week. Bye.